What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel, the best place to see all sorts of police interactions and to learn your rights. So if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like with your comments to help these videos get out there, to bring awareness to the public, help to end police misconduct and bring accountability to the government. Now today's videos come from the following channels, Good Guy Activism, North Georgia Audit and Tallur County Cop Watch. So make sure to visit their channel and show them your support because they deserve it. And now, let's move on to the videos. You need to, you yeah. need to move forward. You can record from there. Yes. You, you, you can what? record whatever you want, but move forward. You're like in our space right now. You can stand there. Yes, you can, you can stand right there too. You can no, watch no. me. If you don't feel safe, you can turn your body Sir, cam yes. on. That's what yeah, I but I'm in did. public, ma'am. Yes, but you can step right there, sweetheart. Yeah. Yeah. Right Am there. I committing a crime, ma'am? You're not committing a okay, crime. Okay, so please. So yes, but I want you to stand right there because I don't feel safe to have you that near to me, right? You're the one with the gun, ma'am. I don't have a gun. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. So I don't feel safe with you coming that up to me. That doesn't mean anything. It I does. don't know you. I don't know you. What's more important, public safety or police safety? You clearly, mean. clearly, police right. safety is more important. It's three of you. Well, well. Three well, guns. Me, both, three guns. What, I have whatever, no gun. Whatever. All I have is a camera. You're you worried about my camera? I'm not worrying about nice your camera. camera by I, did, I never said about the it's camera. It's a very nice camera. So why are you so worried about me? I'm not a threat to you. Say, like, you were too close to us. Okay, that's not, a, space, yeah. that's not a law. Well, you, I, don't know, I don't know your intentions. If we was in time, if we was in time you never asked me my intentions. Okay, I don't. So, I don't follow so unlawful if, orders. So if you want, if you want, I don't to follow unlawful orders, ma'am. So, so you are doing it right now, cause I'm doing what? giving you a lot. I'm telling you to please step a little bit back. You're requesting. I'm asking you. Yes, and that's a request. Am who am I? I don't know. You didn't identify oh, no, yourself no. to me. Men now. Yeah. How do you know I right? can read? I'm a police officer, right? You just said sure. it, right? I'm a police officer. You know how to use a smartphone, and you don't know how to read. There's many people that don't, well, there's many people that are autistic sweetheart, that don't know how to read can but can I, use technology. I'm telling you, please just step a little bit back. You're going to be there. How do you say your name? Zapata Aracena. And you think everybody in America can say that last name? Because we can read, right? Oh, wow. It's about being polite and courteous. Oh, Excuse me, I'm going to walk this way. I don't want you to get scared, okay? You're so worried about police safety and you took the job. Isn't that ironic? You signed up to be a cop. So you signed up to be worried your whole career? You gotta know how to fill out situations. Clearly I'm not a threat to you. All right. I'm Corporal Anderson with the Commerce Police Department. You have your driver's license on you, please? What'd you stop me for? All right, I stopped you because when you drove by me back there, you stuck your middle finger up the whole time you was driving by me. You think I didn't see you? Yeah, I, I yeah. knew you seen me. What was that for? I mean, is it against the law? Is there a law it against that? It's a form of aggressive driving. You know, mm, the Georgia no, sir, statute not. of aggressive driving is? No, sir. You, you can't be uh, a complaining party in that. I can't be a complaining no, party sir, in you aggressive can't. driving? Where is no. that written in the statute? You want to get your... Uh, your supervisor, supervisor out here? supervisor, just to let you know. You oh, know then I'm going to need somebody. No, I didn't see you. Didn't. This is who you get. So okay. If, if you want to tell me what the statute is, go ahead and recite me what the statute is. I don't need to recite the, the statute. I need to tell you your job. What? No, you don't need to. I can I'm flip asking. you off all I want to. Okay. You see that right there? You're driving a vehicle and you're distracted driving by doing that. I was looking at the road. I can do this all day long, sir. Okay. So you want to tell me what it is? I'll tell you what. I don't have to give you my ID. Okay, I don't have. I don't. I don't have to give you my ID because this is an unlawful stop. It's not One hundred percent unlawful stop. I can flip you off all day long, all, right, all day long. So mad. Like, well, what did I do to deserve that from you? Just all of y'all deserve that. All of us deserve that. Uh, until I know different. Yep. Like all of us as long. I was kidnapped and held for ransom for two and a half years by cops what until I, until the I jury do? of my peers set me free. Okay. So what okay? Do it doesn't matter whether you did or not. I will do this all day long if I want to. You're not going to do 100% right. Well, uh, right you want to write me a ticket for it? I, I can. I don't no, care. no. Write me. I dare you to write me a ticket. License, insurance, registrations on the back. Write me a ticket, mother. See, look at the language. Write me a ticket, right mother. Now. Write me a ticket. Right, write so me you, a ticket. You the whole I'm thing waiting. By calling me a mother. Can I go in? You cannot get out of car. Okay. Don't Let's go. Car. Get get the shit over with. Now, now Freedom of speech. You can't be a complaining party in a disorderly conduct. I can't be a you absolutely player. cannot. I can cuss all day in front of you. There's no kids around. There's nobody else. You cannot be a complaining party in the state of Georgia on a disorderly conduct. Okay, Go check the law. About well, you said I changed the stop. Write me a ticket. 
You did because now you're Write me a ticket. And you're calling me a mother for no reason whatsoever. You stopped me unlawfully. I can flip you off all day long. Okay. There it is again. Like I'm saying to you, like I'm trying to educate you if you give me an opportunity. <laughs> You're the one who needs an education, obviously, Sarge. Okay. So, all right. Then let me know which part I need to educate on so that I can educate myself. Too. That anybody can flip you off. This is 100% the First Amendment. Okay. As I will sit here and do it with my car running and driving past you as I did. I do it all the time. I do it to state troopers just to see if a mother would be stupid enough to stop me for it. Okay. So there it is. Write me my ticket and let's get this stop over with. I'm home. Okay. I got fries here. Second, my old lady. Right Thank you. you. Okay. Write my ticket. Okay. All right, sir. So you see, I got a couple of people. It's just for our safety. All right. So look, I'm gonna do as you said. I'm gonna give you the ticket for aggressive driving. Appreciate right. you. I went ahead and got a Corporal, case number. You gonna let him write me a ticket for flipping she, him she's off? My sergeant. Sergeant. Yes. You're gonna let me write. He let him write me a ticket for flipping him off. Aggressive driving. Yeah. Aggressive driving. Okay. So that's what I was trying to. It's not me. aggressive driving. We'll, we'll see it in court. Well, I'll see you in court. So I, I don't. I don't need a second. Let me sign the shit okay. and let's go. Right. Let's so get look, this man, shit over with. This is gonna be my copy. I put an X right here for you. If you just go ahead and sign right there. For copy me. that. Alright. Now, this is not an admission of guilt. Like I said. No shit. Good, how you doing? Good. So we got a report is, you know, this vehicle driving around, yelling at people, going the wrong way on a one way, and we're just trying to figure out what's going on. Okay, well I didn't call you guys, so nope, you, you should didn't. probably go find them, talk to them. Nope, we had the person call saying you're you driving around, we're doing that. So well, we're just trying obviously to figure out what's I'm parked, going on, man. so all right, so where did you come from initially? That's none of your concern? Well, yeah, it is, because I'm here investigating the situation, man. Okay, what crime have ID? I committed? Well, driving the wrong, wrong way on a one way. Can you show me where I, can you show me where I went a wrong way? Like I said, man, we're You can go to talk to the bank out. manager because they have already talked about this. Okay. And I'm, I have no, I'm so, not answering any of your questions. So then why did we get a call? Again, not answering your questions. Okay, what, why did we get a phone call about you Why don't you call the, the person way? who made the call and then find out from them why you received a call. We, they told us you. Okay, drove again, the wrong I'm not way asking or answering you, any questions. And then yelled at them when you when they when again, they contacted. Again, I'm not answering any questions. Right, what's your name? Again, I'm not answering any questions. You're not going to answer any questions. Nope. All right, can we can we have a conversation then of what no, happened? No, I told you I'm not answering any questions. Why? Why? Go find the individual that made the call. You have business with them. You don't have any business with me. No, I do we not have consent. Business with you no, you don't. You're the one. They're called about you. So that means our business is also with you. We have to contact the RP. We're going to contact that individual, but we also need to talk to you as well. There's two sides to every story, right? They're given their side of the story. What's your side? Again, of the story? go talk to the bank manager or the individuals within the bank or the individual that made the call. I have no, I have no business right. with you. We can hang out, but we're hanging out outside your car. Yep, that's the deal. So if I'll happily go talk to the bank managers and stuff, but you need. Am to Am I being detained? Car. At this time, yes. Okay, you have two minutes that's for detainment. All right, man. So here's where we're at with everything. Check the bank manager. Fortunately, they don't have cameras in the uh, uh, parking lot. Okay, well then you cannot convict Sir, me of a crime. Not, can, can we? Can you let me talk? I'm being very polite and calm here. And I'm being irritated because yes, you, you guys are. are preventing me. You guys are illegally detaining me right now. This is called kidnapping at the moment because you are not letting me travel from my it's area not. to continue with my life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That is a it's violation not. of my constitutional We're rights. We're detaining you in the investigation of a possible crime. Which okay. are legally Show me the proof. That's why it's called an investigation, sir. If you'll let me finish talking, we'll get you on your way. No, because you're trying to identify me and I haven't been convicted of a crime. Well, I have not committed a crime either. So part of, so legally. If no, we not are legally. Legal, this sir, is not a stop and ID sir, state. This is not legally, a stop and ID if state. if we are investigating a crime, you are legally required to identify yourself. No, I'm not. You are. I'm not going to push it though, okay? Well, then am I free to go? 
Yes. And have a good day. This is the main question of almost every interaction when dealing with the police. Why is it that the cops always speak of public safety, but every time they arrest or detain someone, they say it is for police safety? In fact, as you have seen, they will go to the point of making up laws to try and force you to obey unlawful orders. This is what happens when we have laws that allow cops to lie and give them qualified immunity. This is why it is important for you to know your rights and help to spread awareness to the rest of the public. To make sure to support the channel by subscribing, like the video and leave a comment to keep the conversation going. And remember, always record the police.